Hello and welcome to uh, piano lesson number one for absolute beginners. Okay, the best way to watch this video is, uh, so I don't repeat myself and waste a lot of time, is if you don't understand something uh, straight away, go back to the beginning or go back to the part and, and watch it again till you grasp it. So since this is lesson number one and uh, an introduction to the keyboard, uh, uh, we're just going to run through a few of the basics. There will be no musical theory here. The idea is to teach you uh, how to play some songs, uh, have some fun with the keyboard, and just enjoy yourself. So, you're first of all presented with these black and white things. These are called keys. Um, each key has a name, uh, and that name uh, corresponds to a letter of the alphabet and they are called notes. Each key or each note makes a sound and this sound is called a tone. So if you look at the keyboard, okay, you will see it has um, black notes and white notes. The black notes are the sharps and flats. Okay, we'll get to those in a moment. Now, if you see these two black notes here and then this white note here, if you play this white note, that note is called C, okay? And it's also known as middle C or C4. It's called middle C, uh, well you may be asking why it's called middle C since it's not exactly in the middle. It's called middle C because the keyboard is also divided into things called octaves, okay? So one octave would be if we played this C here, and then we found these two black notes here, and played this one, that's also called C, and so on and so forth. C. So between middle C and, or C4, and C5, we have one octave. It's the same note, but one octave higher. Okay, now it's called C4 uh, because on a, on a proper sized piano uh, it will have seven or eight octaves and this only has five. So this would be on a proper sized piano C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and then C8. Okay, so your piano uh, keyboard is divided into octaves and black and white notes and tones. The smallest musical division in Western music is a semitone, and that is from there to there. So one octave goes Now, the names of the notes are C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. Now you'll see that I named all these black notes as sharps. If we go down, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C. So these black notes, these five black notes, have a two note letters. It would either be C sharp or D flat. D sharp or, sorry, D flat or C sharp. D sharp or E flat. There isn't one there. F sharp or G flat and so on. Okay. Next, um, 
I'm going to show you how to play a chord. Okay, a chord is three or more notes played together. Okay, so we're going to stick with C because it's easier to divide the octaves from C. It gets a little more complex if you divide from A or G or the flat or the sharp. So we'll stick with this because we have C followed by the two black notes and it's easy to see. Okay, so if I also do this, it may make it a little easier. So if you understand that this note I'm playing here is called C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B and C. And then, after that, it just repeats itself over each octave. So there are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 notes in each octave. And all music that has ever been written or that will ever be written is made up of those 12 notes. Okay? So once you learn one set, you'll be okay. Now I'm just going to run through a few of the chords. We're going to go, we're going to learn C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. Okay, so the first chord is C, and you play C, an E, and a G, and that is the chord of C. Moving up, we've got D, F sharp, and A, and that is the chord of D, because D is the first note you're going to play. Chord of E, A flat or G sharp, and B, and that is the chord of E. Next chord is F, F, A, and C, and that is the chord of F. Next one is G, G, B, and D. Make the chord G. Next one is A, A, C sharp, and E. Make the chord of A. And we have B, E flat, and F sharp make the chord of B. Okay, so that's the first of the major chords. Um, in the next lesson I'll be showing you how to play those chords either sharp or flat. Uh, a very simple way of working that out as well. Also, please try to remember that the whole idea of playing the keyboard or the piano or any musical instrument is to have fun. So don't be afraid just to, just to play around with it. As we get more and more in, I'm hoping by about three or four lessons we're going to be able to play some simple songs, you know. And they really are easy to play. Maybe uh, two or three chords and a, and a small melody. And you can play lots and lots of different songs playing very, very simple chords on a piano. So just to quickly recap, your piano is divided into uh, octaves. It has uh, keys, and the keys are, uh, are assigned alphabetical letters. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And the black notes in between the white notes are sharps or flats, depending on which note you're playing some I mean it's not very often you'll hear of a D sharp they usually say E flat but it, it it doesn't matter it's the same thing don't let people confuse you over stuff like that just recap learn what the notes are called C C sharp or D flat D D flat D D sharp E E flat F, F sharp, G, G flat, A, 
A flat, A, A sharp, very rare, B, B flat, very common, and C. And it just repeats itself over and over and over again as the octaves go up. So I think I've covered the very basics without air uh, and try to keep it as simple as possible without blowing your mind. Um, but bear in mind, this is a lesson for absolute beginners, and it's it's better to know a little bit than um, than, than too much at once. Uh, just as a point of fact, before I finish, the tones and the semitones. All that means is that each increment is a semitone. So you have tone, semitone, 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 semitone. So you're playing semitones, which is like half a tone. One full tone would be to miss out the semitone. So from there to there is one full tone. So from there to there is one full tone. From there to there is a semitone because it is the next available note you can play. Um, like I said, if you don't understand any of this, uh, post me a message and I'll try and explain it in a bit more detail. Uh, but hopefully if you go back and you, and you look at it, you should be able to pick it up. One quick run through the chords again. C. D. E, F, G, A, and sorry, and B. Okay, thanks very much. We'll be back with lesson two.